How's your year been? Short-term paper is a place to hide, right? It's busy. It's quite busy, and uh, absolutely, short-term paper is a place to hide. I think the nuances of short-term paper really are what the story is about for 2022 and actually 2023. Mm -hmm. Folks, as you've highlighted before, is cash is, is not necessarily as democratic as people would like to think, and while cash is king, the crown jewel of how you want to think about it is really more nuanced than that. Yes, bank deposits are, in some cases, right. slowly moving higher. <clears throat> T-bills may offer some attraction, but the reality is they're trading actually quite rich, in some cases 30 to 50 basis points through benchmark rates, meaning what the Fed is expected to be at. So there is other value if you actually want to be more appropriately right. uh, highlighting and thinking where interest rates should be headed based upon Fed expectations. In the PIMCO meeting that you have out there, the 10A meeting, whatever the legendary meeting is, what do you say about the short-term space and dollar illiquidity worldwide? There was no other theme well, at IMF. Well, there's there's a reality of what we're thinking about is that we are facing a change where people need to digest the changing cost of capital. And the notion of liquidity is one that has been more prolific. People are concerned about liquidity. It's been sort of a, a call word, if you will. But it means very different things to very very different people. And I think that's the consequence of when we want to think about the marketplace. You have macroeconomic liquidity, you have liquidity concerns driven to quantitative tightening, you have haircut concerns and margin requirement concerns, which we've clearly seen within England. And more importantly, as the, as the economy progresses to more of a state of concerns about growth, then we're going to see other tightening ratchets of illiquidity and haircuts. Those are the liquidity facets we really need to be paying attention to. So from a starting place at PIMCO and everybody else, we have relatively judicious high amounts of liquidity, preventative liquidity, defensive liquidity. But the key then comes into how do you use it? How do you think about it opportunistically? Give Given the uncertain outcome, given the growth environment, given the slow GDP, but perhaps shallow but longer recession that sure. we think at PIMCO, and then ultimately, how do we then extrapolate that to value in the future? So it's all about really how does liquidity translate to volatility within the marketplace, and how do investors absorb that volatility properly?